Today, we will show you how to service the wearable components for a 10K Reese Revolution pin box using the 10K Reese Revolution service kit, part number 86110. For a complete list of compatible part numbers, as well as a complete, full color, step-by-step -step instruction sheet for this installation, visit reeseproducts.com. To prepare for and ensure a quick and quality installation, check all the parts against the parts list included with the 10K Reese Revolution Service Kit's instructions. This will also help familiarize yourself with all the parts in the kit. During this installation, we will be using the following tools. For this service kit installation, the 10K Reese Revolution pin box will need to be removed from the trailer. Be sure to make note of the boat location of the pin box in relation to the fifth wheel trailer wings before removing. To begin, place the Reese Revolution unit on a bench or a table and turn it on its side. For this demonstration, we will start by replacing the fastening hardware for the Revolution's wedge. A trick to keeping the Revolution's current wedge alignment, which needs to have been previously fitted to your fifth wheel hitch in your towing setup, is to replace one fastening bolt at a time. First, loosen and remove the forward wedge bolt and replace using one of the provided 5 8 grade 5 hex bolt with nylon and conical washer. Be sure to place the dome side or top of the conical washer against the head of the bolt when installing to the wedge. Snugly tighten the newly replaced bolt so that it holds the wedge against the bottom of the revolution arm. Once tightened, move to the rearward wedge bolt and remove. Install the other provided 5 8 grade 5 wedge bolt with nylon and conical washer. Using a torque wrench, torque both newly replaced wedge bolts to 150 foot-pounds. A thin walled socket may be necessary when tightening the bolts. We are now finished servicing the Reese Revolution wedge. Keeping the Reese Revolution unit on its side, we will now remove the upper turret assembly from the Revolution arm. To do this, remove the cotter pin from the castle hex nut using a pair of needle nose pliers. Then, loosen and remove the castle hex nut from the bottom of the Revolution turret pivot shaft. Once the castle hex nut has been removed, take off the flat washer and wear disc. Place the flat washer off to the side, as you will be reusing this part later in the installation. Turn the Revolution unit upright, and using some force and possibly rotating the turret, remove the turret from the Revolution arm. Once the turret is off, remove the wear plate from the Revolution arm. Next, you will need to remove the pivot bushing from the inside of the pivot cylinder located on the Revolution's arm. An easy way to do this is to place the Revolution's arm on its side. Using a rubber mallet with a screwdriver, lightly tap around the edge of the pivot bushing to push it out, taking care not to mar or damage the inside of the arm cylinder. Once enough clearance has been created, you can turn the Revolution arm back upright and easily grab the pivot bushing to pull it out the rest of the way. After the pivot bushing has been removed, wipe away any debris from the inside of the arm cylinder. Next, insert the new pivot bushing provided in the kit. Do this by placing the bushing over the top of the arm cylinder opening and using a rubber mallet, tap around its top edge to push it in. Continue to tap around the top of the pivot bushing until its top is flush with the top edge of the arm cylinder opening. Once in place, apply the provided lube from the kit to the inside of the bushing. Next, wipe away any debris from on top of the arm surface. Then, place the new wear plate provided in the kit onto the revolution arm so that the hold in the wear plates lines up with the pivot cylinder hole. After the plate has been placed, apply lube to the top of its surface. We will now install the Reese Revolution turret back onto the arm. Place the turret pivot tube over the Revolution's arm cylinder hole and see until the bottom of the turret assembly lays flat against the newly installed wear plate. Rotating or twisting may help in doing this. After the turret is completely seated, position the turret straight in line with the arm. Turn the Revolution unit back on its side, making sure the position of the turret stays in line with the arm, and install the wear disc provided in the kit over the pivot tube so that it seats against the bottom of the Revolution arm. 
Reinstall the flat washer, which was removed earlier, against the wear disc. With both the wear disc and flat washer in place, reinstall the castle hex nut and snugly tighten. Finally, torque the castle hex nut to 80 foot-pounds and reinstall the cotter pin. You are now ready to install the 10K Reese Revolution Pin Box onto your fifth wheel trailer. Be sure to follow your original Reese Revolution installation instructions. For a complete, full color, step-by-step -step instruction sheet for this installation, visit reeseproducts.com. That wraps up the installation of the 10K Reese Revolution Service Kit, part number 86110. For more information on this service kit and other great products from Reese, visit reeseproducts.com. Reese, pioneering performance.